So I recommend that you watch my first video, uh, which is as a clip from, um, which uses the M600 command to uh, instruct the, the printer to go into its change filament routine. Now I found two issues with this, which I'm not happy with. The first one is, as you can see, the the uh, position that it parks in that you have no control over is quite close to the bed and it's a bit of a pain when when changing the, the filaments and removing the the waste material is, is tricky also when you start again it's very close to the object and can sometimes actually run into it which is uh, is bad so in the first uh, video on changing the filament um, you could see how I edited the G-code file to include this M600 command which is interpreted by the firmware on the printer to uh, to go into its change filament routine and as we saw it for me it parks it too too close and um, when it starts off again there's this danger of it actually colliding with the with the print itself so what I found was rather than using the M600 code, there is a, another code which is M0. If we look at uh, the next file that I've modified, um, you can see the M0 command down here, which is the same as pressing the pause uh, button on the front of the printer. And just to alert you to the fact that it's time to change the, uh, the filament, um, there's just a few commands here to emit um, the beep from the from the buzzer uh, a few times. Um, obviously, you should be uh, aware of roughly when you want to do the filament change. You can look at the at the layers um, before and work out from that the time. And again, as you saw in the previous video, what I like to use is this uh, G-code analyzer. Um, very very useful uh, program. If you look at the layer info in this particular instance it's a 6 mil cube so I want to change the colors at halfway which is 3 millimeters. So here it's very easy to to flip through the layers until you get the, to the layer that you want which in this instance is, is layer number 9 and then you can find out looking at the g-code source where layer 9 starts at, uh, at line 616 so then you can reference back to the g-code file to line 616 and then put your code in here so the first part of the code um, is to move it to a much um, higher location um, so it's much easier to uh, to change the filament itself and to remove the, uh, the the wasted filament from the color change then issue the 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 alarm beeps and finally to do the M0 pause so once you've completed the the filament change all you have to do uh, is to press the button on the front of the printer and it will resume but as you will see it will resume uh, from a much higher uh, location and there's much less danger of it actually colliding with the print itself